Welcome to the Super Memory for Schools program. I'm Mr. Hui. Today, I will accompany you in Unit 9 of First Aid Course, Lesson 2. First, we will get to know some vocabularies which you will encounter in this lesson. The first word. Victim. Victim. A person who has an accident or something else. The second word. Shock. Shock. Please remember to pronounce k at the end of shock. Shock. Get shocked by a certain problem. Next. Damage. Damage. Next word. Fainting. Fainting. Tissue. Tissue. Please don't mistake this word with tissue, a piece of soft paper. The tissue in our lesson, the cell that forms part of humans. Next word, sterile dressing. Sterile dressing. Force, force, force. You make someone do something against their will. And we have the structure, force somebody to do something. He forced me to stand up. Elevate. Elevate. Lower. Lower is the opposite to elevate. Revive. Revive. Overheat. Overheat. Ease, ease, ease the pain, ease the pain. Minimize, minimize. Affect, affect. Let's review these new vocabularies one more time. Victim, victim. Shock, shock. Damage, damage. Fainting, fainting. Tissue, tissue. Sterile dressing, sterile dressing. Force, force. Elevate, elevate. Lower, lower. Revive. Revive. Overheat. Overheat. Ease. Ease. Minimize. Minimize. And finally, affect. Affect. We have just got used to some vocabulary from Lesson 2. Now let's come to its grammatical content. In Lesson 2, let's get into a grammar that is quite important in 8th grade English Semester 2. I recommend you to remember it carefully and how to use this grammar. The topic of our grammar today is how to make sentences about purpose. This means to express the purpose of the speaker. In order to do it, you need to remember for me that we have two phrases to express the speaker's purpose. That is, in order to or so as to. These two phrases are synonyms to express the same meaning is the word for. And we have the structure subject plus verb in order to or so as to plus verb one. This means verbs in infinitive form. Or if you say not to do something, we will add the word not in between in order and to or so as not to. Let's take a look at some examples. Suppose I study hard. I study hard. I want to get good grades because I want to have good marks in my semester exams. In my exams. So we will use the phrase in order to and so as to to connect these two sentences into a sentence. Let's link them. Please pay attention. I study hard. So as to or in order to get good grades. 
Again, I study hard so as to get good grades. Or, I study hard in order to get good grades. Okay, the second example. Please look here. She does exercise regularly. Because she doesn't want to gain weight. So, now let's connect these two sentences into a sentence. We will say, she does exercise regularly. Now, is there so as to anymore? No, we express her purpose, which is to put not. So, we will add the word not. So, as not to gain weight or in order not to gain weight. Again, she does exercises regularly so as not to or in order not to gain weight. So, we have just learned about how to make sentences with the phrases of purpose. That is, so as to and in order to. Remember to reread the structure at home and practice this structure regularly. Because this will be a grammar that is quite important in 8th grade English, semester 2. Goodbye and see you all in the next lesson of the Super Memory for Schools program. Goodbye and see you again.